so in this video we are going to understand some of the more toolbox or this the more boxes the more blocks and sprites so let's understand first let's understand what is scale so let me remove everything let me remove all these things i just need a ball so this is now when i run this ball so if you have followed the previous tutorial so i have i have been in use of these blocks so suppose what i have I done is animation i have just inserted a ball here in animation and i have taught everything all these things in the previous videos so suppose i just ball when i run it it's too large isn't it isn't it too large but i don't want this large i just want the ball to be smaller so how can i how can i reduce the size of it for that we use scale so when i write here ball dot scale ball dot scale is equal to 0.5 and when i run it can you see that the size has been reduced the size has been reduced this is actually what is scale so if i do it suppose 0.25 the half of that bit so it's not too small so this is actually what is scale this is actually what is scale this block scale so now if i add one character suppose if i add let's add one more animation let's add let's add this animation and let's just put it here so that variable sprite is it now sprite dot set animation the thing which we have in gameplay now let's run it so fine it is this let's just scale it scale it to 0 0.5 0 0.25 you see i am just removing this ball now you know why ball is not coming because it is that is actually covering it so this is now what if i want to rotate it how could i rotate it so for rotating it you have to do dot rotation right dot rotation is equal to suppose 90 now let's run it so it has just it has rotated to 90 degrees now what if i do 45 now it has rotated to 45 degrees and what if I do 180 degrees? So I just oppose it. See, so this is actually what is rotation. What is rotation? And also we can do that. What is visible? That if we can do that, sprite dot visible. If I do it, false. So now I can't see it why because I have done it that it should not be visible because I have done that sprite dot visible is equal to false. And if I do it sprite dot visible is equal to true, then it's showing it to us. But it is rotated why because we have inserted a block that it should rotate to 180 degrees. Now what is sprite dot debug? If I put this sprite, then if I reset it and run, sorry. So here, can you see that there is something, some lines are coming. That is actually the space occupied by that particular sprite. So this is the space which is actually occupied by that particular sprite. So you come to know that, okay, so this is this new size. So whenever something will touch, even it here, can you see the mouse, my mouse, that if someone touches even this part, it will get out. Suppose if I just add a block that, if it touches, suppose this sprite is touching, that we will do. Then it will get out. So then what will happen is, you will think that no, it has not touched, but yes, it has touched because this is the space that it has occupied. This is the space which it has occupied. So this is actually what is debug. This tells us the space which it has occupied. It just tells us. So we can just see, you know, what is Positively, this will help us in suppose we are adding trays. So, at a particular time, we can just 
stop the or we want to stop the play option that then there are many you can do this are all related to frames this will would be coming in the upcoming games so the thing you may you just cover it on